Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju. This is going to be a general collective reading. Um, this will not be a love reading, but although love may come through, this is going to be more of a world, world stage. Um, I'm quite tired, but Spirit really wants me to do this reading. Um, and I'm sure if I don't, that I will be woken up in, in just a few hours to do it. So I might as well do it now. So... <clears throat> I'm not saying these things are going to happen, are happening, or have happened, okay? We will have to wait and see how how they play out, if it even plays out. Please remember, everything is subject to free will. So, any decisions that are made at a very much an individual level and or um, a collective level will change the outcome, as well as the will of the divine, even if you don't believe in it. So, I'm being called these karma angels for the collective. Um, these are like little oracle cards. So, we'll use these first and then we'll find out why. Okay, I got us to this. These readings are not meant to be political advice. Economic advice, medical advice, mental health advice, relationship, financial, or legal advice. Any and all decisions that you make based on the information contained in this reading, you are solely responsible for. Okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective, please, Spirit? <clears throat> What message do you have for the collective, please, Spirit? Anel, I'm going to read it. And I'm going to get one more. Anel. Anything else for the messages for the collective? Any other messages, please? Okay, I'm not going to be able to say this. Nithaya? Not sure how to say that either. So number 17, let's see, comfort and compassion, Anel spelled Hanel, okay, um, he champions the innocent and virtuous, he is often listed as one of the sev seven archangels and is associated with the planet Venus in occult lore. As a result, this card corresponds with the Kabbalistic Serifa, I can't even say that, the Tree of Life. This means that the card brings a natural cycle into our life, and justice, or balance, is brought to, to a complicated situation. It is a card of calling it quits, peacemaking, and bearing the hatchet. Challenge, moving on from a troublesome situation and lesson. Regret is of no use in the future. Hmm. Okay. So, 10. The poet angel who brings joy. So, it talks about solitude and serenity. A poet angel who brings joy and confidence into your life that this being will also reveal hidden mysteries. The card shows that any book of secrets will be opened and and you will be able to gain clarity. Until that time, you must remain by yourself and not take hasty action. Challenge, bearing, solitude, lesson. The answer is within. Okay, so we'll probably come back to those. Why is Hanel here, please? Why is Hanel here for the collective of humanity? For twenty uh for February twenty fifth, twenty twenty one and beyond. Why is this here? Why is Hanel here? Why is she here? Full moon in reverse. 
So we are actually in the full moon cycle right now, and it's called the snow moon, the ear in reverse, the omen reverse. These you don't actually read in reverse, though. I'm going to read them both ways. So this could be something that happens after the full moon cycle that we are catching wind of that brings an omen. Either way, the omen is present. We may not hear it, and it may happen after the full moon or before. But there's something we haven't heard. There's It's, it's like it's painful to hear this. It will be painful to hear this news. Okay. Hmm. We have, okay. We have the hive here. So not acting alone. There's been a lot of communication about this, but we are not hearing. We're trying to hear with our ears, but we need to see with our minds. That's the key. Collective communication, but then we it, we have the tree of the tree bits in reverse, but we'll we'll do it this way because you don't read these in reverse. But then we have consciousness in reverse, but we'll do it this way. So we need to. There's an omen about our home. Also about things that rain down. Um, huge word of water, I heard. Not proper rain. We need to understand and communicate. There needs to be, okay, almost like a network of communication that's branching out. There is an omen about our home, about our foundations and our roots. Where does our loyalty lie is what I'm hearing. We really need to take understanding of this. There's an omen about cycles of life and, pre and predictability. We, intuit we intuitively know this as the collective consciousness. There's something that, it, again, is, is happening around this full moon cycle that we're in right now. Or could have already happened or it will happen after. Hmm. Also, there's something about... Um, bugs like these giant wasp things I don't know why I just heard this but I'm hearing plagues they're like plagues they're like the locus of the wasp world I guess yeah I'm getting really tired excuse me there is cycles that need to complete. There's an ending to secrets too. What is in this book? What is what is she trying to what is this angel trying to say? What's in this what's in the secrets? Air. So communication, nervous system as well. It's like we feel it. We feel like something's coming. Things will be illuminated, but we need to be mindful of being egocentric. Okay? Balancing of the two. MasterCard might be an issue. There's something about a mat. There's okay. There's something about MasterCard, the company itself, that's going to be either asking for a bailout or communications. Someone, sorry, someone is like paying for communications. The MasterCard? Also, the merging of two minds. Or two opposing forces as well. 
You really do need to pay attention. Knowledge is being try is trying to teach. Okay, how do we properly use knowledge? And sometimes some things need to be kept to ourselves, and some things need to be revealed and communicated. But there's an omen around communication. Anything else about this angel? What is this knowledge? Vision, psychic abilities, and awareness, communicating with the divine. Um, about esoteric knowledge, but also about secrets in the collective. We're not we're not paying attention to the signs. They're only they're not going to reach out to us much more. We're going to have to learn a hard way. So we have self awareness here. We we did come in the reverse, but self awareness, and then we have wing. How, how do we communicate with ourselves and each other? I mean, technically, there is only the self. The vision is trying to take flight, but it's having a higher ability to see beyond the veil. There is an omen of death and starvation, possibly even more plagues to come, come towards us. If we don't take these signs and omens very, very seriously. It's it's for foreboding a very, very difficult time. Anything else, please, about this angel? What is this book of knowledge? Knowledge. Can't make it up. You need to listen to that intuition. Okay? Needing to listen to that. They might try to spearhead or cut through, take a shortcut of knowledge. Don't do that. It's got to take flight naturally. The vision has to come through more clearly. Please pay attention to your dreams. It's going to be very uh, auspicious at this time. Especially with the full moon. These are really heavy lessons for the for the um for the for humanity. But as far as the ear goes, like, are we not wanting to, are we not wanting to hear a very painful truth about a warning here? Yeah, I don't know if I can change this reading. It's, it's like, it's, I was already tired, but it's like actually draining me very quickly. So this is going, this is, this is a heavy lesson for us. Very, very heavy lesson. There is death. Okay. There's a warning of very strong potential of death or killing of the trees or oxygen. Show me this omen. But it's, a, it's an inconvenient truth or a truth that we don't want to hear. That we may not we may not have been prepared to hear. That something is coming. Show me the ear. What is this communication of referring to? What is this we're not wanting to hear? Okay, so it has happiness in reverse. We don't have another place that we can go. We have to take care of where we're at now. We don't need to steal from the earth. Like plagues. Or like locusts. There is an omen, though, about some type of hive. Hive mind, hive collective, the collective, collective consciousness. The, more so the hive mind or hive communication. There's something about hives. Like there's more than one swarm of these attacks. From these hornets. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Show me the omen, please. Happiness. Things are not being eliminated to us. We're not really trying to pay attention to what the signs and omens are. We're kind of brushing them off or sweeping underneath the rug. Or they are actually being hidden. Okay, show me the hive. The zombies. 
Things you can't bring back from the dead. Once they're gone, they're gone. This also can talk about protecting the bees as well. Show me telepathy. What is this communication? This mind. Yeah, we also have the risk, or the, excuse me, the kiss up in reverse. So needing to not kiss up, but also to communicate that clearly. We being meeting of the minds, getting on the same page is going to be really imperative as a collective. Show me the tree. We have the anchor and then illness. We're tied to this illness about finances or stability, but also we we're anchored to this planet. Like we we it, it's been sick. We need to fix it. The planet itself has been sick, and it's only getting sicker. As we get sicker, the planet suffers, and so does all of nature. Show me the consciousness. Okay, so we have the house in reverse. Our consciousness or how we believe how we perceive ourselves and each other in our world and our relation to it, whether it's subconscious, conscious level, or supraconscious, it's not stable. We're not we're not being we're not living in conscious life or, or, or really protecting our home and its stability. Also we need to communicate from a place of self awareness with, with higher knowledge. Seeing beyond the veil is one thing, but actually traveling because flight or wing can, uh, wing can even talk about movement or flight. Something's going to be flying around or flying in something, like around it or flying like in, in a, a certain area of the, I guess, open area, like airspace. Yeah. Someone doesn't want to meet their death. Someone might be really sick as well. Show me air, please. Yeah, something is going to be working in the banking system. There's not going to be communication with the banking system. Like, it's like it, the relays are not communicating or something. Like, there's something that's not actually communicating the way it's supposed to. And there's a reason for that. And we need to see beyond that vision. We need to have that self-awareness to see at a higher vantage point and use that knowledge appropriately, not destructively. Show me the vision. What is the vision about? Okay, so we have the dogs reverse, but someone was unloyal. They were only loyal and self-serving to, them, to themselves in the market, which I guess would be most politicians. Okay, show me um, self-awareness, please. Why is this here? Okay, so we have the cat lady. So we're all collectively being asked to stay home so we can collectively decide which um, direction we choose to take next. And then we have the handshake reverse. There's things that we're just not able to reconcile within us just yet. Or our fellow humans. People in your relationship with, in your life. Okay, show me the wing. What are we, what are we, okay. Attack. So we... We're trying to see things from a high... Okay, someone could have been attacking from through air energy, like from the air, but also, too, there's a need for absolute clear communication in seeing things beyond what we normally see without feeling triggered or attacked. Then you have cats. So they can actually walk through the worlds like in between and they hold a lot of knowledge but also too being very independent like cats which brings us a lot of knowledge so, again buying seeds um you know obviously not going crazy but that and like hydroponic grows anything else about knowledge please yeah and then we have the horse we have the rider so someone is listening to themselves as they travel or as they are listening to their intuition as they move forward with this knowledge. But I do feel like someone might someone might be a whistleblower. Then we have the thought, yeah, someone someone definitely might be a whistleblower. Someone is riding into exposing somebody for their corruption. Alright, I have to end this read. I have got to end this read. I'm so tired. So we have the secrets here in reverse. So it will come out that secrets have been held from us. 
um, for various reasons. Let's see. What is the potential spirit? What is the potential outcome if everything was to stay on present course, spirit? What is the potential outcome for humanity if everything was to stay on uh, present course, stay stay, stay, uh, stay on the same course or the same trajectory? What is the potential outcome for this reading for humanity, please? Being very immature about how we direct and how we go about things, how we win things. Yeah, not getting return on our investments. A lot of dealing with a lot of lies and deception, possibly even having like having surgery. Anything else, please? Yeah, secrets will be revealed, but someone, a lot of us have blocked intuition. That really requires us to work through things. Get one more spirit. Can I have one more card, please? Thank you. Yeah, and this bringing instability is taking forever. Um, we actually need to really start taking actions now to live right with the earth because at that point it won't matter what political party it won't matter um, whatever you your ideology you line with if you don't have clean drinking water uh, solid and rich soil to plant crops in and clean air to breathe you can't really you can't escape it you know um, there's nothing you know you, how do I say this Money won't matter at that point. Not at all. We need to start to pick up the pace here. We don't have a lot of time. We keep getting that. We just do not have a lot of time. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right here because I'm actually getting really, really tired as I continue on with this. It's literally draining my energy. I think I might have to go lay it down. So... Yeah, I'm going to do, probably redo this one tomorrow. Um, we'll leave this one up, but I'll probably add to it. But right now, I have got to go to bed, so I've got to get some sleep. I just feel all of a sudden, I was tired before, but this is like a whole other level. So, I hope this helps, and we'll see. We're going to see how it plays out, okay? All right, please take care of yourself until next time. Bye.